Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Let's begin. Well, of course, I could be wrong, but what often seems to happen is that when the government puts a date on something, nothing really seems to move, does it? Quickly, at least, up until, I don't know, about six or so months before the deadline. And then, of course, it just gets extended, which I've got a feeling is what's going to happen here with EVs, because at the moment, apparently 74% of people who own them aren't happy about something quite important, according to ITV News. No! I absolutely refuse to go back to petrol, even though, yes, OK, it does fill up quicker and... Off to goes further. Well, why not push that subscribe button down there to be kept up to date? The article says that three out of four electric vehicles, or EV owners, are unhappy with the UK's public charging system, a survey suggests. A pool of almost 1,500 members of the consumer group which, who drive pure electric or plug-in the hybrid vehicles, highlights the difficulties many motorists have finding a charger that actually works. Some 74% of respondents said they are dissatisfied with the charging infrastructure. Two out of five, which is about 40%, reported finding a non-working charger, while 61% have suffered difficulties making payments. Well, as this is meant to be all of our future, shouldn't they really get this sorted as quickly as possible? Because it doesn't look too appetising, does it? Especially for people like me, who, to be honest, don't really want to change cars that quickly. Surely they should be trying to give us all the incentives they can and making it as easy as possible and better as possible, so the range needs to be improved, doesn't it? And also the charging time. Surely work and charges should have been sorted from day one, or at least in the very first few weeks. Not something which has gone on for about 10 years or so, I think, since the first EVs launched. And yes, OK, I know they probably are trying to get brand new work and charges out there. However, I think what might be best for future is if they installed them at every bay in a supermarket car park. And yes, I know that will probably have to wait until the madman overseas has probably stopped acting like a bellend for this to happen. Because as the electric prices aren't exactly going down at the minute, are they? So if anything, that's probably another reason reason not to go with electric cars isn't it even though of course charging your car at home will obviously be more cheaper than running a petrol car but not everyone can do that in fact I'm sure most people can't. I wouldn't be able to. A Department for Transport spokesperson said, we have one of the largest charging networks in Europe and are working to ensure drivers can access charge points across the country which are reliable, consistent and seamless to use. Since 2020, we have committed to £1.6 billion to improving the charging network and are on track to have 300,000 public charge points by 2030. And yes, OK, whilst that might be true, in this video you'll find out something which I'm guessing the salespeople wouldn't exactly want to tell you. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.